Hello friends, welcome once again. In my last video, I discussed about how to use circuits inbuilt sequencer with the instruments in Ableton. Of course, you can use any DAW of your choice. I am using Ableton. The main idea is to minimize reaching out to the computer and have all the controls right in front of you on the circuit. In this video, I'll go a step further and show how we can use a single synth channel on the circuit to sequence two or more instrument tracks in Ableton. First of all, let's have a listen on what we are going to achieve today. Here I have a total of 8 tracks. The first two tracks are set to receive data from circuit on channel 1. Track 3 and 4 are set to channel 2. Track 5, 6, 7 and 8 are receiving data from circuit on channel 10. These 4 orange tracks are for the 4 individual drum parts. Now let's open a new project and start from scratch. I'll set up the colors accordingly and delete the default audio tracks. I'll put a bass instrument on track 1. I'll set the track to receive MIDI from circuit on channel 1. Now we'll have to put this instrument inside an instrument rack. The easiest way is to select the instrument and press Ctrl plus G. You may also right click the instrument and select group from the pop-up menu. On the instrument rack, click on the second button. This will expand the instrument chains. Next we need to press the key button. This will show us the entire key zone. Since we'll be playing bass notes on the lower octaves, we can play and see how far we may go and adjust the key zone bar accordingly. This will free up the higher octaves to be used by some other instruments. Now we can play and see that we cannot play outside the range that we specified. We'll set the second track also to receive MIDI from circuit on channel 1. We'll put an instrument here. Let's put Rollis Piano for instance. Now let's play and see. Everything seems to be fine, but what if we arm both the tracks? So, both the instruments played together, and we don't want that. To fix this, we'll again put this instrument inside an instrument rack, as we did before. But this time, we'll set the key zone to the higher octaves that we left in track 1. We need to ensure that none of the zones intersect each other. Now let's play and see. So you get the idea how we can play different instruments on different zones using a single channel. We will set up two more tracks for Synth 2. The process is the same, so I'll skip that part and get back when I'm done. We need to select MIDI channel 2 this time, because Synth 2 will be controlling these two tracks. So this is how I have set up the key zones 
This is track 4 and here is track 3. Now let's arm all the 4 tracks and see how they sound like. You can see here, I have added a pitch effect. Let me explain why I did so. If I delete this and play, I needed this instrument to play an octave higher. To overcome that, we can use the pitch effect and transpose it by 12 semitones. So now we get the desired effect. Finally, we'll add 4 more tracks for the drum parts. Change its color. Set all the 4 tracks to receive on channel 10. I am showing this quickly because I have already covered this part in my last video. Except this time, I am putting each part in separate tracks. I will drag a drum rack on track 5 and put a kick drum on C3. Similarly on track 6, a snare on D3. On track 7, a closed hi-hat on E3 and on track 8 a conga on F3 finally we'll arm all the tracks and we are done you can keep aside your computer and start jamming on your circuit you can also dial in some effects on the sense. This is the advantage of putting each drum part on separate tracks. I have already created a session on circuit and the corresponding setup on Ableton Live. Let me load that and show it to you. Okay, this is how it sounds. And here is what I composed. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this technique. In the coming videos, I'll show some more techniques like how to have more than 4 drum parts, maybe an entire drum rack. So keep coming back to my channel and thanks for your time.